Good afternoon, all of you. And this press briefing is called to make public aware about the incident taking place in the last few days, particularly yesterday and today, and the state police and the combined security forces response and the plan of action that what we are doing. Yesterday, some Turkey militants, they have fired and attacked the fringe areas in between Vishnupur and Chorakhpur border. In response to that, combined forces have conducted bombing operations. They have destroyed two bunkers which was previously occupied by the militants. Two bunkers at the Monsa and one bunker at the Leka Monsa. <laughs> After that, there was a long range rocket fire from the hills by Kuki militant at the Moiram Hoiro Lekai, in which one senior citizen civilian named R.K. Rabai he died and six more civilians injured. Mm -hmm. Due to this incident, there was a large gathering of uh, volunteers and miscreants in both sides. So immediately, our senior officers, SP Bishnupur, others, they have rushed to the spot and uh, they have deployed additional forces. Even military chopper was also deployed for patrolling and uh, conducting aerial uh, survey. After that, there were a lot of by exchanges, then later the situation was brought under control. Yesterday, late in the evening, in Imphal, there was an attempt to loot arm at 7 MR Khabai Soi and at 2nd MR Imphal. The combined security forces deployed at this location with some resistance, we were able to successfully disperse the mob and uh, repel that attempt. In fact, while dispersing the mob, some vehicle belongs to the miscreants were also damaged. Later on, while the reinforcement party from our police who were returning, they were fired upon by some miscreants at Khabaisbai in which our officer inspector KH Henry OC Commando Infali and one constable Isaac Gangmai, they got injured. Immediately our reinforcement with senior officers led by Sir L. Kailun IPS Enigi LO and myself and others have rushed to the spot and we were able to control the situation. And we have evacuated these two officials, policemen to Sija Hospital. Now they are out of danger. While mentioning this, I want to caution that yesterday it was late night, it was dark, and there were many bystanders nearby. That was one of the main reasons why our police have not retaliated on the direction from where the fire has come. If our police might have retaliated, then there might have been more deaths from the Viscarians and the other innocent who were living in the nearby. But uh, our officers have restrained themselves and uh, we have evacuated ourselves and uh, we have used uh, only tear smoke munitions on the Viscarians and uh, some black fires on the air. Due to this, in fact, the security situation was reviewed at highest level and our police have increased intensified bombing operations. These bombing operations have started from yesterday and intensified today morning and it is increased in fringe areas, particularly in the fringe border areas between Imphal West and Kampopi. Infall East and Kangkopi, 
बिष्णुपुर एंड कांकोपी बिष्णुपुर एंड चुराचंद टुडे मॉर्निंग आल्सो इन टू सच कोमिंग ऑपरेशन a good number of sophisticated arms ammunition explosive grenade and others were recovered what all can share like can these two photos showing the arms and ammunition which having the sophisticated arms and explosives are recovered today morning from this free area these bombing operations are aimed to prevent any further attacks from the suspected areas where the rockets were fired and the drones were flown and from both sides hills and waste from both sides there were in total of nine sophisticated arms 21 different types of ammunition and 21 explosive grenades and a wireless set that was also recovered the next incident today do we get to get full detail just to clear some kind of rumors in the in public we are giving this facts that today early morning suspected kuki militants they attacked at nur chabi village under jiribam district in which one senior citizen named yurembang pulendra singha 63 year old he got killed while the armed miscreants taking advantage of the early morning and they continuing their firing and then forwarding near rasipur village the village volunteers of the village also confronted there was an exchange of firing upon hearing this news immediately sp jilba with his strong team have rushed to the spot even they were also came under fire they have also fired back retaliated very strongly and uh, after some time the firing got controlled the situation brought under control there was a report of one paspati mayum lakhi kumar sharma 41 year old of dibong kunau jilba he got killed and uh, later while searching in the general area where the firing took place there are three dead bodies of the miscreants are found the details of the exact miscreants are yet to be ascertained due to these last few days frequent incidents state police is reviewing the security situation and deployment very closely with the help of other forces now the senior officers are deployed on the ground even our adg ig they are deployed on the ground in bisnupur and in jiribam and in imphal due to the the rogue drones which have created the recent attack in the september 1 a very good anti drone system is deployed that is in action state policies in the process of purchasing more anti drone systems and rogue ro, drone sorry rogue drone guns the anti drone guns is simply to see there is a army chopper that is doing the patrolling we have deployed additional forces in some vulnerable areas there is a deployment of sophisticated arms and that is under training and in the process of purchase also to counter the long range attacks we have activated our social media monitoring cell particularly to check the instigators of violence in the social media we have found that there are some instigators who don't come on the ground per se but they instigate the people they play with the emotions of the public from both the sides and make the public into mob to go for arms loot or to create a lawlessness we are identifying such instigators in the social media in fact from the police side we are warning such instigators will be identified and under relevant sections they will be go for it if necessary strict action even to the level of 
booking them under scheduled acts and handing over them to central agencies will also be taken the combined operations in both sides hill and valley is intensified particularly focusing on particularly the long range rocket from where the rocket was fired and also the drones where it was noticed more in these locations combined operations are intensified we will be covering minimum of 3 to 5 km focusing on the areas the nakas are being strengthened and it will be a combined nakas to ensure that the forces are not kind of compromised taking advantage of this the press briefing i also want to inform that our state police is analyzing the recent attacks that which has took place through drones and through long range rockets we are in the process of purchasing anti drone system and also anti drone guns it will be deployed very soon there are some already deployed and we are going to purchase and deploy more and state police also monitoring the investigation of this recent attacks we are checking the crimes committed that attracted under the scheduled acts for transferring of these some sensitive cases because these are very new and very sensitive to central agency <laughs> last i on behalf of our state police request appeal to general public that please cooperate with the police security forces to maintain the law and order in fact please don't fall prey as the in social media do not believe in whatever comes in social media you can anything coming up you can contact us we will clarify through our social media one to yourself also in our press briefing we also caution in fact want that the mysterious please do not try to interfere in law and order we respect sentiments of everyone here all the policemen are son of sires we also feel the same thing and do not take us as enemies we are here to protect we are one and together in manipur if anybody try to interfere in law and order particularly attacking our policemen are trying to loot the arms i'm saying a serious it will be viewed very seriously as per law and action will be taken upon them so i request all the public please cooperate with us in maintaining law and order thank you